Listed below are the circumference in feet and heights in feet of trees in Marshall, Minnesota. Find the equation of the regression line. Find the best predicted height of a tree that has a circumference of 4 feet. What advantage is there of being able to determine the height of a tree from its circumference? So really the question here is to find the equation of the, reg of the regression line, and then from there we can answer the other questions. So what we're going to do is take all this information, drop it into our scientific calculator, and first of all figure out is our correlation coefficient strong enough uh, in order to use the regression line? And if so, we'll find the regression line and then use it. So the first thing we'll do is go to our scientific calculator, drop in all the data by simply pressing data. And as you can see, I've already done all this for us. Uh, so x is list 1 and y is list 2. So then we'll hit second data, which is our statistic function. Go into two variable statistics where x data is list 1, y data is list 2. And this gives us a lot of information. First of all, we have 14 pairs of data. Uh, this is the mean of the first set, which is x, standard deviation, and so on. So we're just going to scroll all the way down until we find the r value, which is the correlation coefficient. And there it is. So r is about 0.828. Remember that we want to get as close as we can to 1 or negative 1. That tells us how strong we are to a perfect correlation. For the sake of this video, uh, we'll say that 0.828 is statistically significant enough uh, to say that there is a positive correlation between circumference and height of a tree. So saying that, uh, we can find the re regression line equation using the A value and the B value. Remember that A is the slope of the line and B is the y-intercept of the line. So that means that we'll have our uh, regression line as y equals m, which is our a value. Uh, so we'll say about 5.341. Let me make sure that was right. And then x plus 22.463. Okay, so this is the equation of our regression line where x is the circumference of the tree and then y would be the height of the tree. So let's find the best predicted height of the tree uh, given that the circumference is 4.0 feet. So in other words, the circumference is x. So x is about 4.0 feet. So then we're going to drop in this value in place of our x and find what y is. So putting this in our calculator, I found that to be about 43.827. So looking at our data, it only goes to one decimal place, so that's as far as I'll go as well. So this is about 43.8 feet. Now the follow-up question is, what advantage is there of being able to determine the height of a tree from its circumference? And if you just think about it, it makes sense if this is, let's say, our tree. And we want to know how high the tree is. What you would ordinarily have to do is climb the tree using a ladder or use some type of equipment and find the height of the tree. But something that would be much easier is just simply measuring the circumference of the tree. So once you know the circumference, then you could drop it into the equation and then find the height without having to climb.